Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. In the last video, this dome decided to give us all sorts of hell. But this video, we have Meteor Storm coming in, which will give us all sorts of hell. And we've got a few buildings that are not working. However, I'm still doing my trade with BSC. I'm making a ton of money right now. I'm also going to go underground because I got a technology. I can now clear cave-ins, which is going to allow RC Explorer 2 to meet up with the rest of the fun group. Now, let's see how this exactly works, because I haven't done this yet. Huh. This is blocking objects. Let's see, here, here. All right, cool. Nope, whoops. Got out of that guy's way. All right. So on the plus side, it produces a crap load of waste rock, which is kind of helpful, especially if I've got those things. Good. It did pick up um, that one I didn't want. But Crossroads is still available to me, and so is the high-speed comm satellite, of course, because I want to get that. Since I'm now able to clear out waste rock and get these two guys to link back up, that's going to help me explore the underground incoming. that much easier does also mean I should probably bring a dozer down at some point. I've got a lot of cash. I've got enough to do it. But I am, of course, saving my... Nope, I'm going to do it right now, actually. Lower supply pod. Dozer! And I still, I'm still going to have enough for Resources my 100 low. electronics. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to be offering up concrete for polymeros. See who, yep, I am M. Thank you, you guys are awesome. And then down here, I have a single MDS. Oh, this guy's malfunctioned. Crap, god damn. My electronics problem's worse than I thought. Funding received. Really? Uh, let's see, 5033, you're powering up, that's good. I'm gonna turn these scrubbers off, because I'm not even using them at the moment. Okay, this grid is having some serious issues. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's build up another row of turbines. And in addition... Ah, I want to build a, scrub, a couple scrubbers up here to reduce the maintenance needs on them, but I don't, you don't even have that ability at the moment. Gonna load up some concrete, get that stuff on the way. The guy's available, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring him down here. I'm gonna connect the low ground and the high ground first. I should put a ramp from kind of like here down to about here. MOU for some metals. Come on over here, and let's go ahead and do some ramping. Make it the biggest ramp I can get my hands on. Yeah, I like that. Big ramp. We're good on that. We're going to produce 600 waste rock. Go to work. And it's outside of drone hub range. That's good. Meteors are coming down here, which is alright. But I want to build this ramp, and then I'm going to send this guy into the underground to clear stuff out. I've got him. Might as well use him. Don't want him to get crushed by some crap. Alright. We got that. We've got our trade resources being loaded. We're doing decent on fuel, bad on polymers, bad on electronics. And we're actually back home, so I can go ahead and load this guy up. Yeah. Electronics are double the usual price right now. Good. Resources are low. I'm only going to bring up that many because, well, I'm going to need them for the maintenance stuff, but at the same time, when I bring up the full uh, 100 that I'm going to need for the mission, I do not want to have them offloaded. I want to essentially just turn around and say, oh, these have already been reserved for other things. 
could also turn this building on and just start using, you know, creating polymers locally. Research complete. Yes. Plus 20% production. Um, this guy will need it first. Electronics factory is absolutely going to get priority on that. Uh, research tab, let's go ahead into that. Work on mega storage, then Martian board adaptability. Um, there's the micro-G mining operations. Do not need to worry about that. I'm not doing any mining stuff where I'm actually going to be out and about and sending people up to the surface. No way in hell. This is just... I, I really don't like terraforming subsidies. I really don't. Um, let's get productivity training... Well, hang on. I've already got these ones researched. So it's actually a thought of working on some of the biotech and terraforming technologies to push these further down. And then there, nope, that's the mag field generator. Yeah, core heat convector is what I'm actually waiting on to do the... Core heat convectors is what I want to do for temperature, because core heat convectors do like 1% per day. GHG G factories do like 0.1%, and they burn fuel. The GHG factors serve as one giant uh, subsurface heater. Who those meteors are? They're still coming down in this area. That's good. Um, hey, hey has not been destroyed, which is nice. But he's just like, the dust devils are just dancing on top of him. Feel bad for him. Anyway, I could also, once this ramp is done, turn around and do a ramp going up this way to connect the two, to connect everything. And I think I will bring this guy down here because I've got 30 fuel, I've got 109 rare metals, I don't have to worry about. Um, interrupting trade on the top building or on the top on um, the the hell's wrong with you, Steve English learn to speak it up top don't need to worry about that I'm just gonna turn these guys back on I need to know when they're operational again and they're gonna get three machine parts and hopefully get fixed real quick not gonna be upgrade not gonna be um going super duper crazy with that. Picking up waste rock? Okay. How they... Oh, wow. They are picking up waste rock. Okay, then. Wasn't expecting that, actually. Alright. To keep those guys operating... I'm going to put a few more concrete depots down. Meteor storm's ending. This guy's getting reloaded. Are you freaking... Oh my god, that's annoying as hell. Weird. I can't see my uh, ramp project anymore. It says it's there. That's a glitch. I can... Weird. This isn't you. This is the game. I, I can't actually see the hexes anymore. Oh. Alright. No, we'll go ahead and move the electronics down here. These guys will come collect them. And bring them back up for safety. Wait. You grab that. You grab something else. So this guy's coming down. Electronics. I got nine electronics here. Seven. Okay, good. Just starting to grab them. That's what I wanted to see. Burn through those polymers to get those blades going. Seems like I still need more colonists, but... Wow. 
Oh, wait. I have an infirmary in here. Oh, totally forgot to turn him off. Whoops. Oh, and that was dumb of me putting that thing right next to it. Whoopsies. How many how many electronics does that thing eat? Hmm. Mistakes were made. Many, many mistakes were made. I'm getting some engineers in here, which is good. Do not want to open up the Martian University just yet. Everybody's living in the arcology now. Nobody wants to live in, the, in that crappy apartment complex. Got our polymers coming off now. I can see it's being terraformed. You can see the subtle changes now. In the uh, in the terrain as it's going, but it's very weird. I can't see the full scope of it. I do also have a concrete extractor down here I can utilize. You're fully loaded. Get out. All right. So, end of this video. I'm going for the big dog. Oh, that big stretch too. <clears throat> going for the high-speed comm satellite and then once that's going really want to try to kick a my note i'm not doing any outsourcing right now actually doing a lot of that locally um while this is apparently still working upstairs i have one notification up there let's keep that in mind let's go ahead and clear this out hot damn Once this is cleared out, we'll use this last little bit. We'll clear them. Then I'm actually going to get this guy down here. Okay. There we go. Going to clear that site, and then we are connected. Um, oh, there's another cave in right here. There's one spot down here I want to explore as well. There's an anomaly in this area. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six anomalies. I'm really nervous about that giant hole, the, the, the um, unlimited depth hole down there. I is going to give me some stuff. Resources take it. are low. Yeah, it's low, but I'm working on it. Again, I can make it locally, but my... Yeah. I'm actually going to amplify these guys to produce more, co uh, to produce more fuel. It's not going to be producing more water, which is good. And wow, we're at equilibrium again. Okay, we can do an extra one here if possible. This guy I'm just going to keep off in the hopes that I'm going to get nano refinement. If I do, then I can kind of kick most of these guys back on and it'll all be good. This also means there's only five metals left here. I am essentially out of metal right now. Resources so are low. a metals outpost may be required very soon. Also realizing I don't have deep metal extraction. That's way down here. New Martian Ward adaptability down. I want mag filtering so I can increase my oxygen production once the... Because I'm going to build some mega tanks as soon as I'm able to. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to turn off these rare metals refineries. I've got plenty of rare metals at the moment. I'm just going to burn all the polymers I have for that. Funding received. <laughs> 100 electronics. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to bring up that the exact amount that I need. I'm still surprised that BSC, honestly, is allowing me to continue doing these trades. 50 metals, 600... Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. That's probably the last metals trade I do with them. I need to switch over and actually do the concrete one. 
that's also where most of my metals are disappearing to, is disappearing to another colony. I've pretty much mined out what I can here, and the other, next available spots for metals are out here, which is, this is a good mining outpost spot. One, two, three metals and one rare metals. This is a good spot. Uh, if I can get up to there too, even better. Once this uh, ramp is done, hey, now I can see it again. Come over here, flatten this whole area out, and then probably just run a big ass cable down to here. All right, that's good stuff. Let's go underground again. Almost done. Let's go. Oh, he's auto oh, he's in auto mode. Okay, that's good. That's right, I did automate him, so we'll have him go off do his own thing. Now that he's freed up, I'll keep an eye on him here for just a minute. And then once this is cleared, I'm gonna clear down here to get to this anomaly so we can access that. Not gonna do any more light tripod stuff at the moment. That's several cave-ins on this area alone. A lot of uh, waste Research rock. complete. Yes! Alright, let's go upstairs. IMM's giving me a pretty low offer, but I gotta take it. I need all the polymers I can get my hands on. Let's go ahead and drop down some... A big-ass water tank. And a big-ass O2 tank. Damn, it's just a little too big. But I could actually slap a scrubber down in here. In fact, let's do that. Let's put a single scrubber right in here. That'll actually keep the maintenance down, maintenance cost down on all these guys. Metals, concrete, huzzah. So this rocket is almost here. Crap. Oh wait, 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 wait. Cancel that expedition. There we go. All right. Anomaly found. Show me. Ooh, hey. I haven't got one of those in a while. That's not okay. All right. This is good. I'm liking this so far. So, ooh, this one's going to need colonists. So, once this rocket leaves... Research complete. Neato. Hey, look, there goes all my polymers. Yet again! <laughs> okay, BSC just closed that trade route, too, which is perfect. So I don't think I would have gotten that one out in time. Oh, shit. Ah, ha, ha! This one. I like this one. Because this one, if you get the sample of a risk of a cave-in, you automatically get a cave-in. Anomaly found. Yep. We found some useful material ah, in the... actually helps a little bit. So this guy went and did a dumb. Where the hell is he? Okay. So I've got 30 rare metals wherever that thing was. I don't even remember where that site was. No, oh, here it is. 30 rare metals. That's very helpful for me. This guy, gonna come over here. Okay. That happens way too damn often. Go back upstairs. So it also means we're probably going to get 5,000 research. Hey, look, 5,000 research would be really helpful for that. Um, or 5,000 research on orbital engineering, which would be a lot. A big chunk of getting this completed. I do want deep metal extraction. In fact, topology AI is, is a lower priority for me than I think it should be. So if I'm going to get 5,000 research, let's find a good spot for it. Right there. I don't have the ability to build either of these Mars side. And it's sole 100 and what the hell ever. I am way, way too far behind on that project. Alright. Huh. That's kind of good. There's also 20,000. 
don't want the ability to build that stuff over here. I'm just going to go for some low, low end techs, as it were. Okay, you're here, go. Ah, shit. I made a mistake there. Mission. Anomaly analyzed. Boom. There's more to the battle. Greater biorobotics, deep the space planet, scanning, and core heat convector. Core heat convector, that's the one I need. Increase the temperature of Mars. It takes a bunch of polymers, bunch of metals, bunch of concrete, and let's see. Ooh. I haven't gotten this far in the recon expansion tech tree yet, so I'm liking it. Now, let's go downstairs real quick. We're gonna fix this rover real fast. I'm gonna send him back in after I make sure that this uh Okay, hopefully these guys will be okay. Is once it, once this rocket leaves, I can switch it back into a landing pad and bring those guys down. It'll be fine. I'm surprised that this uh storage is full when there's like giant storages right there. Resources are low. Yes, they are. But I'm not diverting anything from this. This has to be done. So it technically takes 130 fuel, 100 metals, and that 100 electronics, which are just locked on board. They're not going anywhere. Hey, you. I need somebody who's empty. Come here. Hey, you. Come here. There you go. Okay. So I do have colonists who are trying to get back down Great here, and I'm not going to screw you, game. Damn dust storms. I'm going to switch this back over, bring my folks down. Hello! Anomaly analyzed. Really? There's more to the barren Deep Ash are remaining, hanging gardens. You need to not be automated? Oh, shit. Crap. So, this guy's cut off again. That's fine. As long as he's not damaged, we're okay. This was a stalactite. Research. And I could go for a big old chunk of deep metal extraction, or I can get a couple of these guys knocked out. Or... What the hell? Wait a minute. That one's, been, that one's been cheap for a while. I don't know. Maybe a molehole mine. I mean, that's that's helpful. I'm gonna put that there because if this is five thousand flat research, I'm gonna take it. I can cancel it out and put those other things in, but having it. 30-40% completed in one scan. I'm kind of okay with it. That other one was scanned, so let's go ahead and move you up here. He just went through a cave-in. I don't know if you saw that. Anomaly found. 5,000 research. Boom. Which right there, 30% researched in one shot. I'm going to cancel that out. Go back into the other one I've got. Uh, let's see. Did we... No, I didn't get to that one. That one got uh, covered by a cave-in. All right. So, I'll scan this key. Then head upstairs. Great dust storm approaching. Damn, BSC closed off that route too. All right. We're going to go for Crux. We're going to send on that mission. At about 25 Resources minutes. Are yes, they are. And that's why this guy needs to be producing them as much as possible. I'm producing plenty of machine parts. That's good. It's the electronics that's really lagging behind. Yeah, woof. Woof, that's bad. I don't understand how this concrete extractor is full, per se. 
Then again, who knows? Hey, hey may actually get scooped up uh, by Crux. And then suddenly he's stumped off, he's repaired, or it grabs Hey, hey number two from downstairs and we'd be fine. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barrel. Nuclear terraforming, nuke the polar ice caps, and let's see. Hang Gardens. What was the other one I believe we got? I'm not going to scan that eye, because whatever the hell that is, it says bottomless pit. I don't like hearing the word bottomless pit when it comes to something giant and electronical that I don't want to lose. Right. Great dust storm approaching. Yes, it is. Rare metals extractor storage is full. Interesting. Well, yeah, I, I kind of see that. Wow, everybody's just giving uh, Crux all the attention. Or number seven. All the attention right now. Number one does need some love also. Granted, once seven is loaded up, it can head out. And is this almost done? We're getting there. We are getting there. Once that ramp's done, I'll bring this guy over here. And I want to start uh, planning this whole thing out. Because we're going to need, a, let's see, you know, one, two, three, four deposits. I'm probably just going to have one of each there because, let's see, this one is low quality, average quality, low quality. And this one over here is average quality, and I think we're getting, yeah, we're getting 11 per soul out of an average quality deposit. I think we're getting eight, maybe seven out of a low quality. It's decent. We're actually getting some uh, decent returns on that. You got plenty of O2 going in here, plenty of water. No, plenty of water, just two. We're now making use of what we got over here. And this guy. If I did this right. Yeah, it's just in range. So these guys are being kept very comfy by that. And that MDS laser. Ooh, does not cover it. Hang on. I'm actually going to put that there. Oh, wait, hang on. I want to put that there to protect the rockets, this, and also the future Omega Telescope. It's off on its mission. That's good stuff. Let's see. Can it grab one of my Hey Hey's? No, it can't. Okay. Head down here. We're gonna have to fix him to teleport him. Unfortunate. Okay, looks like he's going the uh, right side of the bowl. This is why that ramp is very important. Just go down and up, and you're there. All right. Don't think that's gonna get repaired before the dust storm, which is unfortunate. Um, power. We got a. Good surplus going into the grid right now. These guys are full. I'm out of electronics. Really unfortunate. Um, we're going to go concrete for polymers yet again. Because once that guy comes... Once this guy comes back from the high-speed comm satellite mission, I can just set him down on the low ground, get him to load up on some rare metals, and head out. Not a great trade, but I'll take it. Alright. Okay. Are you goddamn kidding me? That right there is enough to make me rage quit. Deep breath, Steve. Don't start screaming. That is so goddamn infuriating. Oh. Just randomly checking on it. 
a random meteor. Bye bye. Try and paint the ass. All right, let's go ahead. Let's clear this out. Get this guy over to this thing, and then I'm gonna wrap up the video and probably go scream a little bit. Just to. That's a pain in the ass. I don't know where you were running to, buddy. Keep clearing these things. I wish I had more drones, too, but I've lost so many of them to meteor storms. Oh, that's annoying as hell. Go scan that. Go upstairs. Great dust storm approaching. Yeah, he's just, just going to miss it. Close those guys up. Thankfully, like, I was able to get a lot of stuff. I actually had enough to produce a lot of water and whatnot in the meantime. I'll come back to that in a second. Let's see if this is one of those, like, hey, let's collapse. Let's you cause another cave in on the damn uh, thing again. I'm not going to, like, hit OK on it until this guy's clear. Get away. No. Resources. What do we find? Rare metals. I can't tell because there's a freaking cave in here. Not what I was hoping or expecting from that one. I was kind of hoping for anything else. Resources are low. Uh, BSC is now doing concrete for cash, which is a good one. 50 for 429. That's better than they were offering earlier. The last trade they were doing was 50 for 4... Oh, wait. We're still going to do high speed comm satellite, but I think this is a good point to wrap up the video. We got a dust storm going. Um, I may start up the next video after the dust storm is completed, just to save a little bit of time. But yeah, a little frustrating this episode. I was not expecting a rover to get destroyed by a random meteor. We got used to going for a high-speed comp satellite, though. There's a little plus there. That's going to wrap it up for now, though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.